Today, I'm gonna to show you one of my biggest aha moments in lifting, the wedge. <laughs> So why do we wedge in the deadlift? Two reasons. Wedging makes your deadlift safer and it makes it stronger so you can lift heavier. Get ready to save your back and make a heavy lift feel way easier. Here's how to wedge. Step up to the bar in your deadlift stance. This works for both conventional and sumo stances. The bar should be over your midfoot. Grip, spread, and corkscrew the floor with your feet. Actively pull yourself to the bar and grip it hard. Flex your triceps and lock your elbows. Anti-shrug your shoulders. Try to bend the bar around your shins. Make dents in your shins. To do this right, you need shin protection. Take a deep breath in and brace your abs. Here's where the wedge happens. While maintaining all the tension you created, bring your upper torso back until your shoulders are over the bar and your arms and shins are vertical. You should feel your hamstrings stretch and your glutes load. You should also feel your weight shift back towards your heels. If the bar is light, it'll lift off the floor a little bit. If the bar is heavy, it won't lift, but you'll feel wedged between the floor and the bar. To practice the wedge, do a few reps while holding the position for one to three seconds while staying tight. When you're ready to deadlift, wedge, then simply push the earth away with your feet and stand up in a super tight standing plank. That's the deadlift wedge. Let's go over five common mistakes we see in the wedge. One, don't drop your hips. Do bring your upper torso back until your shoulders are over the bar. Maintain the integrity of your hinge. Two, don't send your hips up. Do find the sweet spot in your hinge that achieves maximal hamstring and glute engagement. Three, don't think about lifting the bar. Do get in a tight wedge, push the earth away with your feet and arrive in a tight standing plank. Four, don't let your toes come up. Do grip the floor and keep the entire surface area of your feet firmly planted. A good weight distribution is 60% in your heels and 40% in your toes. Five, don't crane your neck. Do keep a neutral spine throughout the lift. That's how you do the deadlift wedge. Practice it, feel it, and I promise you your deadlifts will get stronger. Do you wanna see more barbell content? Let me know in the comments. I've been wanting to make a bench press video anyway. Please like and subscribe to support the channel.